Are you struggling for your very first customers, leads, and clients for your business? Well, then this is the video for you. You want to make sure you watch this to the entire end and duration because this is going to help you ASAP. Make sure you come on back. How's it going, Nez Nation? It's so good to see you. Thank you for clicking and watching this video. If you're new to who I am, I am Professor Nez, your personal branding coach, executive career coach, online business strategist. I run several agencies. One of them is where I help people, entrepreneurs, business owners just like you to brand yourself, to get your message dialed in, make sure that you have everything ready so that you can really create a frictionless environment which will help serve your audience, clients, and customers better. What you're about to watch right now is a personal branding coaching call that I had with an awesome entrepreneur. His name is Kevin Medina, and he's just terrific. And uh, he was nice enough and honorable enough to let us record this and share this with you because he wanted to help. Uh, and so, Kevin, we really thank you so much. And I don't want to waste too much time, but this you want to make sure you watch until the entire end and duration of this video because you're gonna it's jam packed with value to help you to start grow and make sure that you have something in place so that you can get those first leads customers and clients for your business so without further ado let's jump right into the coaching call tell me a little bit about kind of i've, I've done a little bit of due diligence but i, I want to hear from the horse's mouth here tell me exactly kind of what you're doing what you're up to and, and how i can help Perfect. So uh, I was working for Diamond Resorts. I've been with them for 10 years. I recently got promoted to their director of uh, training technology for their sales and marketing team. Basically, I was tasked with creating a, a full-fledged digitalized training that they, they, they were, the traditional learning was still uh, uh, pieces of paper, grading, you know, manually and things like that. So we're going to take all of that, digitalize it. And most importantly, uh, was going to be the integration of Zoom rooms, be allowing a, a, an instructor to be in a remote room. You know, we had high-tech cameras with tracking systems going on um, that other, other places could connect into. For example, California, they had three or four different places that people would fly into um, the Orange County area. So we were trying to minimize those costs and everything was going fantastic. We had completed all of California. We had done Arizona uh, and then COVID happened. Yeah. So when COVID happened, I went into a furlough for about three or four months. And after that, I was laid off. And uh, I'm sorry know, to hear that. Yeah, yeah, it, it was terrible. During all this time, uh, you know, in the last six years, we have picked up a few clients. I had done some things on the side. So we were having kind of a dual uh, income. Uh, my side business wasn't steady, but it was getting there. Uh, Ness. So, you know, it was a big blow to us to, to have to go through through that. Uh, obviously, completely unexpected, no fault of my own. And I know a lot of people uh, suffered in businesses, lost a lot of money. So very unfortunate situation. Uh, I, I have been looking for work. You know, it's been a little rocky, a couple interviews here and there. Most of the time, you don't hear anything. So needless to say, it's very frustrating. And, uh, you know, I told my wife, I said, you know, we have all this experience. Uh, we, I've done instructional design, I've, I've done learning development, we, we've done BILT, we've done a little bit of uh, our train the trainer, uh, training sessions in general. So let's, let's go, you know, let's dive into the deep end and then let's go into, into it um, full speed ahead, which is great in theory. The problem is nobody knows about me, nobody knows about this new company. I have no, no sort of uh, reputation, good or bad. So getting those first clients has been a challenge, you know, yes. trying to cold call, call, reach out. Sometimes you get response, a lot of times you don't. And when you do, it's usually thanks, but no thanks. Uh, and that's where I'm stuck at right now. So okay. talking to Steve, you know, you recommended it to you. I recommended uh, him uh, yourself. Yeah. And, uh, and, and well, that's where I'm at right now. Okay, that's great. Thank you. That's awesome. And, and, and first of all, a couple of things I just want to say is, number one, um, you're doing everything right, I think. You're, uh, you're identifying you know, where the gap is. You're identifying that there's opportunities out there. So many people lack the um, understanding that we're literally, Kevin, 
living in the greatest era of all time. I mean, there's so many opportunities. The opportunities right now to do what you want to do without having to answer to anybody, but actually being able to monetize your expertise, monetize your experience, monetize your background and your uh, track record. It, we've never had opportunities like this. And I'm living proof. I mean, I run two online businesses. I don't know how much you know about me, but I run my online academy, Beyond the Box Academy. We, we create digital uh, uh, products and courses and uh, highly certified, highly, you know, five-star review, multiple best-selling courses. And then I also run my, my consulting agency, my branding consulting agency, right, where I help individuals and businesses brand themselves online. And so um, this, was, this was something that happened out of a necessity. Uh, you know, I was a, you know, and I still am a business communications professor and I, I taught for over 20 years and I was teaching something like 10, 15 courses a semester because, you know, they don't pay professors jack, right? <laughs> and so uh, I saw this beautiful opportunity to take my expertise and monetize that and be able to do what I love and have more flexibility, have more freedom. It's funny because running your own business, I say this a lot to my clients, Kevin, and I say this to uh, you know everybody, even my students. The first thing that's really, really important is to understand the expectations that are involved because uh, one of the things that I'm supremely against is this Instagram concept of coconuts and yachts where all you need to do is put yourself out there, start posting content, start getting your website, and the money just pours in. <laughs> it couldn't be further from the truth. Uh, just like with everything, Kevin, and I don't think you're adverse to this, it takes unbelievable amount of hard work. I don't think that you're uh, shy about that at all. I love your energy already. You articulated your challenge pretty well. Uh, and I have some really, really great ideas that are already bubbling, bubbling in my head. But uh, before I do that, what I'd like to do is ask you, um, what have you been trying so far? Because you said you've been getting some no thanks. Thank you, but no thanks. What have you been trying so far? And I'd like for you to tell me in one sentence, what is it that you do that will help solve your target audience's problem? Right. So what I've been doing so far is I'm, I'm online all the time. I'm looking at forums. I'm looking at job postings, particularly focused on contractors right now. Uh, I find the company on LinkedIn. I try and identify who the hiring manager is, which, again, is a shot in the dark sometimes. Uh, and then I send them a message, right? Friendly message, introduction. Hey, here's who I am. Here's what we have in common. And I see that you're needing these people or you're looking for a contractor. Here's my company. Uh, can we talk? And that's where we're getting the things, but no things. As far as what we can offer, now, so we have a wealth of experience, and I've built a team of, uh, of uh, subcontractors that you know they've been working for me. So we can we have a wealth of expertise. Uh, you know, most of these people have two or three years experience, highly educated, and and we can do a lot of the design and development uh, at lower cost because we already have that experience. Um, especially for the companies that are looking for three, six month contracts. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so that's great. That's fantastic. So mostly you've been doing like for, for, for getting the message out there, mm -hmm. mostly what, if I'm understanding you correctly, what you've been doing is doing a lot of like networking and cold calling and things like that. Is that correct? Absolutely. Yes. Have you tried anything else online? Like any paid advertising or content marketing or SEO marketing, anything like that? Yeah, that's my next step. I looked into the options between Facebook and uh, Google AdSense. Uh, I'm leaning more towards Google right now. Um, final touches on my website. I think it's up and, and ready to go at this point. We've been working hard. Is it live right now? Yeah, it is. Okay, maybe maybe what I'd like to do, because this is super important, is uh, I'll do a screen share if I can, and I'll give you a, a, an audit of your of your website. Be uh, because one of the things, and I'm glad that you said you're entertaining ideas of paid traffic. It sounds like you understand that there has to be an investment involved, obviously, sure. uh, and and it doesn't have to be something that breaks the bank. I mean, I'm living proof that this 
this doesn't have to be uh, uh, you know a situation where you have you have to have an exorbitant amount of capital to get things started uh, as a matter of fact uh, quite the opposite um, and then I also want to ask you about your LinkedIn presence because I don't know if Steve told you but being a LinkedIn influencer you know uh, I've been building my business and brand on LinkedIn since 2007 and you want to talk about lead generation you want to talk about client acquisition there's no better especially it sounds like to me you're b2b mostly correct pretty much yeah i mean unless i'm incorrect uh and by the way by the way i don't even like those terms b2b b2c to me it's h to h it's human to human right and so one of the things i tell my clients kevin is don't ever think of yourself as just a brand or a business people don't do business with buildings or logos or websites right people do business with people right and so apple is a company but you know when they when you think of apple you think of steve jobs right when you think of microsoft you think of bill gates or satya nadel right when you think of tesla you think of elon musk people don't do business with buildings people yeah. don't do business with advertisements they do build they do business with people this is super huge especially with some of the ideas i want to roll out to you uh, but but here's here's another thing and, and i hope you don't mind me challenging you because i really want to help you and one of the biggest things about me is i'm very transparent i don't i don't uh, overthink it too much um, I've been doing this for such a long time. I can identify really quickly what the issue is, and I'm going to have you write something down very, very soon. If you have, do you have any writing material at all, Kevin? I'll okay. So when I asked you to tell me what you do in one sentence, you gave me about two paragraphs. <laughs> and, and, and I want to say something first. I want to caveat this with: this is very, very common. Not a big deal. A lot of people have a hard time. Um, kind of uh, conveying the, their own message and conveying their own abilities to other people, right? Let alone in a, in a, in a way that attracts clients and attracts uh, customers. This is very, very common. One of the things that you need to understand is it needs to be in, in literally, it needs to be in one sentence. It needs to be a way for you to really hone that brand message down so that when somebody says, Kevin, what can, what can you do for me? Or Kevin, what do you do? Boom, bada boom, bada bing. It's right there. Like, for example, hey, Nez, what do you do? I help businesses and individuals brand themselves online so they can earn more, grow smarter, and stress less. That's what I do. One sentence. I help businesses and brands brand themselves online so they can earn more, grow faster, and stress less. Boom. You see that? It's very fast. It's a tagline. And so if you want to earn more money or advance your career, I'm your guy. If you want to start and grow an online business, I'm your guy. I'm your online guy. Does that make sense, Kevin? Absolutely, yeah. It has to be not – people think this is elementary or you have to dumb it down. No, no, no. It needs to be concise. Right. It needs to be precise. I need to know within one – people's attention span today, Kevin, it's gone. Yeah. Nobody has time to listen to a pitch. Does that make sense? Yeah. So I want you to write down these three things. I want you to number it, number one, underneath it, number two, and then the next one, number three. And then I'll probably follow up with you or help you kind of identify this in more kind of concrete terms because this is everything. If you want to grow and start this, and by the way, by the way, uh, uh, I want to also say this, Kevin. You might be thinking, well, well, Nez, you haven't even told me if this is possible yet. Um, can I just say this is not only possible, but for somebody with your intelligence and with your background and track record, it's it's going to be the potential is limitless. And I mean that not in a, a woo woo kind of stupid bumper sticker kind of way. Meaning if you, you are not somebody who's adverse to hard work. Can I, can I uh, make a presumption? Are you the son of immigrants? Yes. No, first like generation. Yes. So I'm the son of immigrants. I have immigrant parents, right? I was born and raised in the U S but uh, I am the son of it, proud son of immigrants. Right. And so one of the things that I think that we have that a lot of people maybe don't is uh, we 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 have no problem working our butts off right and so it's super super important so so here's what i want to say i want i want to say this because this is super super important is not only not only is this something that not only is this something that is feasible, but it's something that I, I want you to do more than anything. I don't want you to go back to nine to five to be honest. Um, now do you have kids, Kevin? Three. Okay, you have three. How old are they? Uh, 10, six, and three. Holy macadamia nut. You look like a young dude. How did you get that many kids, bro? No idea, man. 
How old are you? I'm 34. Oh my God, you're a baby. I'm like 15 years older than you. Uh, you look fantastic, Kevin. Man, you must have started young. Good for you, brother. Well, hey, I wish I would have started young too because I have a. I didn't start having kids till I was your age, 33, 34. So I have an eight year old and a seven year old. But uh, wow, you've uh, you've uh, you're only 34 years old. You're a baby, and I mean that in the best possible way, because this is a beautiful time for you to get things cooking online. This is a beautiful time for you. So so here's what I want you to do. Did you have your? Uh, did you write down those number one, number two, and number three? Yeah, got it. Okay, here's what I want you to do. I'm going to actually show you my website. Okay, well, here's what I want you to write. I want you to write number one, just write num number one next to it, write problem. Just write problem, the word problem. All right. Number two, solution. Write solution next to number two. And then number three, I want you to write results. So number one is problem. Number two, solution. Number three is results. You got that? Got it. So what that means, you can write a little dash, and, and I'm going to define what that means. Problem. This is really important. Write this down, uh, Kevin. What is the main problem your ideal audience faces that you can solve? What is the major problem? And make it very specific. Try to boil it down. Because like, I know you do a lot of things, like leadership, subcontract, you do you, you organizational, you do a lot of things, right? But try to nail it down to one major problem. Look at me real fast, Kevin. I want you to know this. This is super important. People don't buy your credentials. People don't buy your degrees or they don't buy your track record. They, they, the only reason anybody's going to buy something from you is because they have a headache. You need to be Excedrin. You need to be Tylenol. Gotcha. People don't care. People don't care how cool you are. People don't care how uh, amazing you are. People don't care. You, you have to make everything about them. Does that make sense, Kevin? Yeah, absolutely. Everything. Every, all your branding, your messaging, your marketing, your website, your campaigns, your initiatives, your pitch needs to always put them first. You last. I know that sounds a little bit strange maybe at first, but it's super, super important. I know you're a smart dude. You're going to get this. The only reason they want to even look at you, talk to you, or spend time with you, this is human nature. People care about themselves first. And I'm telling you right now, if you follow what I'm about to tell you, Kevin, you're going to make the potential to make not only thousands, not only six-figure, but multiple six-figure, maybe even seven-figure, is limitless in today's era. There's no barriers to entry now. You know, you come from an era, you're about my wife's age. My wife is 36. We still come from an era before the internet was born. Remember that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't know. It's hard to even imagine what life was like before the internet, right? Let me tell you something, Kevin. This beautiful invention called the internet, called e-commerce, called the digital revolution, it's everything. It's yeah. everything. So number one, problem. What is the specific problem that your product or service can solve? That's number one. Okay. Number two, solution. So next to solution, what is it that your what is the 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 solution that you can provide to that specific problem? Okay, so right next to solution, what is the specific uh, solution or specific answer that you can provide to their problem? Does that make sense, Kevin? Absolutely. And then number three, results. I mean, this is pretty self-explanatory, but I'm breaking it down for a very specific reason because I'm going to show you an example. Number three, what are they going to get out of it? What is the end result? What does that look like? So number one, what is the problem? Number two, what is it that you have that can answer that problem? And then after you've solved their problem, what does it look like for them? Does that make sense, Kevin? Absolutely. Yeah. You know, watch this. Watch this. I'm going to show you a very specific example. So watch this. Let me, uh, let me screen share here real fast. And then I'm going to show you a very specific uh, uh, answer to this. Okay, can you see the screen right now, um, uh, Kevin? Yeah. Okay, here's what I want to show you. I want you to see. I want you to see this. Okay. So you see my little tagline right there, Kevin. The very first thing. This is my website. Can you see that? This three sentences right here, Kevin. Yeah. Okay. So remember, I want you to look at problem, solution, and results. 
So look at how I don't see most people when they create their website or their marketing campaigns, Kevin, this is like, this is copywriting number 101. It's so important. See, most people, they start like this. They say, hey, I'm Kevin Medina. I specialize in this. I excel at this. I have a certificate certification or degree in this. I have over 10 years, 20 years in this. It Most people, it starts with them. It's I, 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 I. Does that make sense, Kevin? Yeah. I, I notice, what I, notice what I started with. Number one, problem. This is the main problem that my audience faces. It's not the only problem, but it's the real kind of gist. Yeah. Struggling to grow your online business or advance your career, question mark. You see that, Kevin? Absolutely. I start with them. What's their problem? What's their main issue, right? And then number two, what's the solution? Well, my solution is it starts with a clearly defined brand message. If you want to advance your career, if you want to grow and start your own business, people need to know who you are. You said it at the top of our consultation. You said, hey, Nez, I'm having trouble with, you know, nobody knows who I am. I'm not, nobody's aware of me. Before they have to be aware of you, they have to care about you, Kevin. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. And how they care about you is by you tailoring your specific message to their needs, their wants, their challenges, their obstacles, their pain points. I'm sure you've heard some of this before. Number three, look at those results. You see the results right there, Kevin? Yeah. So after I've identified your problem, after I've offered you my solution, this is what you're going to get. You're going to earn more money. You're going to grow faster. And you're going to stress less, right? So for you, it might be something like, you know, are you struggling to organize your uh, uh, teams, your employees, and your organization? Let me help you to restructure, reform everything in a fast and easy, convenient way so you can, you know, uh, have zero worries about what's happening with your contractors, subcontractors, operate efficiently and grow profits. Or so I'm just thinking that's just off the top of my head. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're an expert at this. I love it. You're, you're, what I'm exactly. saying? Huh? you're an expert. I love it. You, you know, it, it just comes to you like it's easy. It's you make it seem so easy. Let me tell you something, Kevin. Let me so, tell you something, Kevin. I want to look at you. This is so, so important. Let me tell you something. You know why, Kevin? You know why? Because I don't talk about anything that I don't know. People say this all the time to me, Kevin. They say, hey, Nez, hey, Nez, how come you're so, you know, you've got this down. Like it's, you're not even, did you even like study this? Did you have, do you have, are you looking at notes or a PowerPoint? I never use PowerPoints. You know why, Kevin? Because I stick to my lane. I only speak about what's inside my chest. I've been eating, sleeping, and breathing language, branding, messaging since I was a kid. So, Kevin, this is what I mean. Identifying that unique trait and exploiting that to the service of others. I didn't actually invent that phrase, but it's beautiful. Larry Wingett, who's a great mentor of mine, exploiting that unique trait to the service of others. Always be serving. Hey, hey Kevin, you know, when was the last time you had amazing customer service? And how did that feel like? How did that feel like, that, that amazing customer service? That uh, Maybe it was a hotel, a restaurant, or even just on the phone with like a, a, a customer service representative. Did it make you, how did that make you feel when they made you feel like your experience mattered? Yeah, it was actually, I can actually pinpoint it. I can't tell you the date, but it was recently, a couple months ago, a restaurant here nearby. Uh, the guy, his name was Jim, uh, gave me a free bottle of hot sauce that I love from that restaurant. And uh, he was just on it, man. Like, he How does that make you feel about his company, his brand, his restaurant? Oh, I, I'm going to go back there anytime. And you're going to refer people to him. Absolutely. So, Kevin, here's the deal. You want to succeed in business, whether it's online or brick and mortar, I teach this all the time. You know, I'm a professional speaker. I also do workshops. I help, uh, you know, companies hire me to, to, to really train their teams. I worked for Cisco very recently. Cisco WebEx hired me very recently. Let me tell you something, Kevin. Take your ego out of it. And I'm not saying you have ego. You seem like a very humble, smart dude. 34? Like, I'm impressed at 34. I mean, 34, you know, I felt like I wasn't even halfway as smart as you are. And so let me tell you something, Kevin. If you take your ego out of the equation and you just make everything about them and you smother them, smother them with unceasing service and unceasing care for their experience, you're going to win. You have nothing to worry about. Okay. You're going to win. 
you're going to win. And also, I want you to write this down too, Kevin. This is really important. And then I want to talk to you about LinkedIn. Okay. You need to make, you need to always think about this. You need to create a frictionless environment for your end user. What does that mean? As soon as I land on your website, your LinkedIn, your Facebook business page, or your Instagram business page, or wherever I can find you, I need to know within three to five seconds what's in it for me. You see, when you land on my website, you know immediately the first sentence is, hey, do you want to earn more money? Do you want to advance your career? Do you want to grow an online business? Immediately, I make it about them. You see that? I need to know within three to five seconds. People don't have any attention spans anymore, Kevin. I need to know immediately what's in it for me. Does that make sense, Kevin? Absolutely. And so it's absolutely important. So so having that, I mean, literally having that, you know, as your sort of main, uh, you know, kind of uh, uh, problem solution elevator pitch, your brand message needs to revolve around those three major concepts, problem, solution, results. It's going to change everything. It's going to change everything. The way you approach everything, the way you approach meetings, even in person, not just online, it's going to change everything. Make it all about them. Remember, nobody cares. I mean, this is the harsh truth. Nobody cares until you make them care. And how you make them care is by making it all about them. Because human nature, we care about ourselves first. We're not all like selfish, but first we think about our own best interest. That's yeah. just human nature. If you understand the psychology of the end user, Kevin, you're going to win. I promise you. Okay. You know, you see that little ticket taper down there, how it says free videos, trainings, links on how to start your own online business and how, how to build your personal brand. It's all free. You see that link down there below where yeah. it says uh, uh, professornez.com forward slash videos? Yeah. Those are all free. Those are all free. I give them away for free. You know why I give them away for free, Kevin? I don't make them sign up for an email. I don't make them fill out a form. All they need to do is literally go to that site and they get a ton, a ton, literally thousands of videos on building your brand, building your business, getting your message out there and advancing your career, everything. You know why I do that, Kevin? I'm not saying this to brag. You know why I do that, Kevin? That? Because you need to grab attention. And the only way you're going to grab attention is by making a frictionless environment so they don't have to work. There's so many options out there now, Kevin. Why should I pick Professor Nez? What makes Professor Nez worthy of my attention? You know, I tried to click on his video and he's asking me for my email. He's asking me to fill out a form. Forget it. I'm out of here. Make it frictionless. And then, and then when they click, and they enjoy and they actually get value and you actually produce quality content like I do, then I can't tell you how many clients I get just from my YouTube channel, uh, Kevin. Okay. Just from LinkedIn. Somebody says, I saw your podcast. I listened to your video. I, I, I saw this little post that you made. Or I, I, I watched your video on interview tips. Or I watched your video on the best websites to make money online. Holy macadamia nut. How can I work more with you? What can I? How can I do more? You don't sell when you're doing content. Okay. You just simply provide unceasing value. And then people will come to you. It's called inbound marketing. People will come to you. Okay. And Kevin, I'm telling you with your personality and you don't need all this fanciness. You don't need fancy microphone. You don't need fancy lights. Kevin, all you need is this. That's all you need. All right. You have the best camera. You have the best computer in your back pocket. That's all you need. Does that make sense, Kevin? Absolutely. So that's why I want to talk about LinkedIn next. And then I'll take a quick look at your, uh, I'll take a quick look at your website too. Awesome. But, um, but uh, I want to, I want to talk about where have you been, uh, uh, where have you been trying or attempting to get the word out? Not paid, not paid traffic. I want to talk about organic native content. Have you been putting out any content that says, I am Kevin, here's how I can help you. Not yet, no. Um, I, I created a, a, I think it's a very cool course that allowed uh, users to kind of practice the U.S. geography placement of the states, you know, dragging their abbreviations. And we tried launching that last week, but we didn't have a lot of success. It was her first post. So I, I'm trying to kind of figure out how to better adjust. You're not going to get any success on posts for uh, the next three to six months. 
Really? Okay. You have to have the right expectations. This is what I mean by expectations. You're not going to even get, uh, 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 you know, you're probably not even going to make a profit in your business, you know, for the first, some, some companies, I mean, look at Zoom. Zoom still hasn't made a profit. Yeah. You know, I mean, you, you're not going to make a profit in your business. Don't even, th I mean, you're, you'll be lucky if you make a profit within the first 12 months or 18 months, but you have to think long-term. That's another thing. You have to identify this is long-term. You're only 34 years old, Kevin. I'm almost 50. Like, dude, I have the energy of a six-year-old because I love doing what I'm doing. Does that make sense, Kevin? Yeah, sure. I'm making, I'm making money for me, and I don't have to answer to BS administrators and presidents and, and VPs of, of and chairs of departments of stupid universities anymore because I, I get to do it for myself. So I'm energized by my passion. You know what I mean? Absolutely. I, mean, I work 24 eight, Kevin, but guess what? It doesn't feel like work because I love it. I'm, I was born to do this. And when you start making money for yourself, Kevin, and you start seeing, holy mackerel, the potential of this, you're never going to sleep again. <laughs> <laughs> I promise you. I promise you. You're going to, I mean, my wife has to come into my studio and say, Hey, idiot, it's three in the morning. Get to bed. <laughs> gotcha. Kevin, I'm telling you right now, uh, the, 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 this is, this is so beautiful. I want to more than anything, just get the, the right mindset. Think long-term. Don't think short-term. So many people tell me, Nez, you know, I posted, I did what you said, you know, I posted a three minute video on, on LinkedIn, but you know, I didn't get anything out of it. Okay. How many did you post? One? How long ago? Six months ago? Did you post anything between now and six months? No. You're out of your damn mind. Okay. That's not going to work. Okay. And I'm not saying you, and obviously I'm, I'm not, I'm not, you know, pointing this at you, but I mean, I feel like sometimes I have to choke this expectation out of people because it takes work, man. It takes consistency. It takes a uh, 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 putting yourself out there. You know how many times, and this is what I was going to advise you to do, Kevin, especially on LinkedIn is I would advise you to create at least, at least two to three videos a week, just you and your phone, just you communicating and just being completely natural and real. You don't have to be salesy. You don't have, don't do this, Kevin. Hi, I'm Kevin. How are you today? I'm going to tell you about, <clears throat> they're going to fall asleep. But if you do this, Kevin, Hey, how you doing guys? My name is Kevin Medina. Uh, I just want to jump on here really quickly. I got to be honest with you. I'm not really accustomed to doing this. I'm even a little bit nervous. Just be real, be natural. People say all the time, they say, Nez, man, every time I see your videos, man, it's like you're like you're a Hollywood actor. You've been doing this forever. You come across so natural on camera. You know why? Because I'm not trying to be like those dudes. I'm not trying to sell my audience. I'm not here going, hi, I'm Professor Nez. Today we have an offer. Oh, God, it's terrible. Kevin, look at me. You're a smart, good-looking young dude. All you got to do, there's only one criteria. Just be capital are real that's it okay as a matter of fact the shaky the camera you know the less perfect and less production it is the more engagement you get we've actually done studies on this okay so i want you to do i want you to do because i know you haven't done this i want you to do at least two to three videos let's just say two to three videos a month to start i want to start baby steps but i'd like to amp that up to two to three videos a week try to do a couple videos a month just you or maybe you and your partner or whoever just saying, hey, I just want to put myself out there. I just want to let you know who I am, where I come from, and I'd love to hear from you. What is it that you need? You know, people say, Nez, where do you get all your ideas for your content? I get it from my audience, my Nez Nation audience. My last 20, 30 videos that I put on my website and my YouTube channel all come from my audience. Hey, Nez, can you help me with imposter syndrome? Boom, that's content. Hey, Nez, can you help me with resume? Boom, that's content. Hey, Nez, can you help me with LinkedIn branding? Boom, that's content. Okay. You see how it's their questions, it's their problems that I'm providing answers to? Right. That's what your content should do. Okay. And I'm telling you right now, if you do native video, just literally on your phone, just a couple minutes saying, hi, I'm Kevin. This is who I am. This is what I'm all about. Leave a comment down below. Let me know how I can help you. How can I be of service to you? Let me tell you a little bit about myself, your story. What's your story? What's your background? Just be real. Just be natural and do that in consistent basis. You're going to see amazing results. I promise you. Okay. Don't sell. Don't sell and don't ask for anything. 
Don't be like, hey, if you need this, then buy this. Don't do that. Just put yourself out there. You were, right now, we're top of funnel mind. We're creating awareness. Here's another thing I want you to write down. This is really important, Kevin. People will not buy for you until this is the kind of funnel, the inbound marketing funnel trifecta. They won't buy from you until they first need to know who you are. Then they need to like you. And only after they know and like you will you earn their trust. And after that trust phase, that's when they'll purchase from you. Not only that, but they'll become super fans. Because the more they know you, the more they like you, they'll, they'll build that. You build that engagement. You build that trust. They'll buy from you. They only buy after trust. There's impulsive buying. Yes, you know, we can talk about paid advertising, you know, uh, and I'm a big believer in doing both. I think you should start with organic content, but paid traffic, you know, organic traffic is best right now for you because I don't want you to break the bank. But yes, eventually I would say the three biggest platforms for you, Facebook advertising is number one, Instagram advertising is number two, and definitely Google search, Google uh, AdWords is number three. Okay. Absolutely. I mean, I've heard good things about Pinterest and I've heard good things about LinkedIn ads, but LinkedIn ads are very expensive. And right now LinkedIn is projecting amazing organic reach on LinkedIn, more so than any other platform right now. It's number one as far as organic reach. So uh, I would highly advocate posting, like I said, and it doesn't have to be, uh, you know, it can also be, uh, uh, you know, uh, Kevin, it can also be something like, um, you know, it doesn't have to be necessarily videos every time. You can also do just written posts. Okay. You can also do uh, photographic posts with some caption and good copywriting, right? Like Instagram stuff. Do you have a, where do you have a main kind of presence or do you, and it's okay if you say, Nez, I don't have a presence anywhere. It's okay. Yeah. That's part of the problem is I'm a really shy guy and opening up like that. It's really tough for me. So I really don't, um, you know, I think LinkedIn is my main one right now. The first one I'm going to send about. you some videos that I've done just like this coaching calls with people who okay. said the exact same thing. Okay. You see what I'm doing right now, Kevin, I practice what I preach. Sure. You see what I'm doing right now? I, what did I say was one of my businesses? Do you remember what I said one of my businesses was? Yeah, branding. Yes. So one-on-one -on -one coaching, right? Consulting. Yeah. So here, check this out. I'm recording this. People are watching this. I'm not selling anything to them, but they're getting a taste of who I am. They're getting an idea of my personality, my energy. Video three dimensionalizes you. Right. You see what I'm saying, Kevin? Yeah. And so somebody is going to watch this video just like my other videos, and they're going to say, man, I really like Kevin's uh, energy. I really like Nez's energy. I wonder if I should hire him to help me. You see how that works? Absolutely. No, like, trust. And I'm going to have to get on the phone with that individual more than likely. As a matter of fact, I love getting on the phone with potential clients because – you know, people have a hard time selling, and the reason they have a hard time selling is because they don't believe in what they're selling. When you believe with every fiber of your being what you're selling, I there's no selling involved. You're just communicating with, with gusto, with vigor, and people feel that. People don't buy your credentials. They buy your energy. Don't ever forget that. And you can't manufacture that. And I know, Kevin, you said you're a shy guy. Let me tell you something. My wife is the exact opposite of me. She's super introverted, super down to earth, super understated. But when she speaks, you know, she has a TikTok account that she's blowing up right now. She does it her own way. Own your own energy. I have videos on this, too. I want you to check out that will help you with that. Okay. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Fantastic. So, I, yeah, that's what I would like you to start with. I'd like you to start with, um, you know, kind of creating organic content and then definitely entertaining Facebook advert. I mean, that's going to definitely have to be a part of it. Paid traffic is definitely going to have to be a part of it uh, later. And also connect with me on LinkedIn. I'm Professor Nez on all social. Uh, I'll leave links in the description down below. But connect with me on LinkedIn, too, so I can keep an eye on you. Absolutely. We'll I, on you. I mean, just, just inspire you and just kind of see what you're up to and see if I can offer help. <laughs> I'm going to be your drill sergeant. Hey, Kevin, what are you doing? <laughs> okay. Give me your, uh, let's, let's do this and then, and then we'll, we'll kind of stop here, but give me your website. What's your website URL? Let's see if I can look at it. Uh, MDNA. MDNA. MDNA solutions. Solutions. Okay. Hold Sorry. on a second. Let me see if I can pull this up real fast. 
Uh, MDNA e-learning development services. Is that right? Got it. Okay. Let me see if I can screen share this and we'll take a look at your website. I think my internet connection is really slow because, uh, because of uh, uh, my kids are using Google Classroom. They're, they're all online right there. Does that make sense? Yeah. Same okay, here. Hold on a second. Let me see if I can screen share here. Okay. So let me know if this is your website. Okay. Let me know here down below. Is that your website right there? Yeah, you done. Okay, that's it. Okay, yeah. So the first thing you remember how I said. Now let me ask you. I'm gonna. I'm, what kind of professor would I be if I don't quiz you? <laughs> so what? What's 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 the first thing that that if I come to your website, what's the first thing that I should understand immediately about you? Even in development services. Yeah, but that's doesn't that doesn't help me. That doesn't say anything about me. See, e-learning e, e, e development services is a feature. Remember what I said, you need to start with, who do you need to start with? Okay, so I don't, I don't get the question, I'm sorry. So, so, so remember how we talked about, you know, when I first come to your website, your LinkedIn page, your branding page, your, your campaign, your initiative, the first thing that people need to know within three to five seconds is? The, the problem that's available and how, and how we can solve them. What's in it for them? Right. They need to know what's in it for them. So okay. e-learning services doesn't, it's not, that doesn't tell me anything about me. Does that make sense? Yeah. I so you it. have to start with their problem. What is the, what is the problem or challenge or pain point that your product or service provides an answer for? Okay. So especially when you say, I'm just looking at this. First of all, I love the branding on the top. I love the logo, MDN. I love the colors. I love the picture is very cool. I would make the picture a little bit lighter, I think. It doesn't have to be so dark. And maybe I would definitely have a picture of you. Uh, maybe because, you know, it's you're, you're, you want to be, you want to, I think it's better to put a face to the company yeah. rather than just a stock image, if that makes sense. Uh, but, but, you know, you're, you're, the first thing that I see is, we strive to make knowledge available for everyone. That's the first thing that I see, which again, it's not bad, but the problem is, is that it's very, very general and it doesn't, uh, it doesn't tell me anything about really, it doesn't give me a really good specific idea of how you can help me. Does that make sense? Like I'm not everyone. And plus, why do I care about making knowledge available to everyone? Again, I, I want you to take this in the right way. I'm not criticizing you. I'm just trying to help. Does that make sense? Oh, that's great. I, 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 I don't want you to think like, God, Nez is tearing me apart. You know, I, I want to make sure that you make money. I want to make sure that you can take care of yourself and your family. Got this it. is very, very important. Does that make sense, Kev? Yeah, I got it. And so instead of saying we strive to make knowledge available for everyone, you know, I would I would say something like, you know, uh, you know, if e-learning if e-learning services is what you provide, right? I would say, you know, the biggest thing you need to identify is how does that what what problem is that an answer for? Okay. What what problem what challenge do they face? Does your e-learning service help? You okay. know what I'm saying? And you don't have to answer this right now. But 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 think about this. Think about that problem solution results. Does that make sense, Kev? Yeah, absolutely. It doesn't have to be three sentences, but it can be still a, a tagline, one tagline, you know. But but uh, you know, like for example, if if here, let me let me kind of see if I can break this down. Let's just walk this through, okay? So if I if I buy your e-learning service, what am I? How is that going to change me? How is that going to transform me? What am I going to get out of that? Okay. Can you answer that? Yeah, yeah. So it's again, it, it, what we do is custom development, right? So we're, we're here to help you with development needs or instructional design, depending on where you stand within the project phase uh, of your company or your project. So I, I hear what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. So those are still those are still just features of your services, right? Okay. So those are features. You help me with the development phase, the design phase. and But what am I going to get out of it? Let's say me specifically like 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 your target audience what am i what's the result of me buying your services like for example am i going to you know uh am i going to have a a, a completely organized workforce am i going to have a reduction in costs 
Am I going to have, uh, you know, uh, a more cohesive people oriented culture? Like what's the result? Okay. Completely. Does that make sense, Kevin? Yeah, I gotcha. Yeah. So just something to think about, just kind of, kind of, you know, uh, think about that a little bit and, and, and really, again, if you, if, and by the way, just send me a message or something when you've worked on that. And I can kind of take another look and give you my input. Does that make sense? But yeah. but remember that the key thing here is always making it about them. Does that make oh, sense? Absolutely. I mean everything. Your messaging, your branding, uh, 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 your your copy, your your uh, you know your your landing pages, your your advertising campaigns, your videos, your content. You know your everything needs to be designed to to if you really want to build that awareness and you want to turn this into a lucrative business which there's so much potential here everything needs to be designed to cater to them that's it that's the key gotcha and just use use that that formula that i gave you is really going to help you i think because your main problem and, and let me see if i can identify this kevin your biggest problem is you need people to be aware that your service is the best for them. You need to, so that you can actually turn this into a business, make money, right? Pay your, your, your payroll, pay your staff, pay whatever, pay your, all your costs, but also make a living so you can actually flourish. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Yeah. I love it. I hope you got a lot out of this brother. I hope you got a lot of help. Um, do you have any last second questions before we kind of get out of here or anything like that? Or, or what are your biggest takeaways? Can you tell me what your biggest takeaways are, are from today before you ask your question? Yeah, absolutely. We've got we to gotta rebrand. We've got to make sure that I'm delivering the right message. I think that's where I'm failing right now. Even on my side, if I do get some sort of organic search, I think I'm going to lose some there. If we're not drilling that into it, how we can help uh, who we are and what they're going to get out of it in the end, uh, which is the most important aspect. So, uh, this is greatness. I really appreciate it. Yeah, and here's here's the deal. Here's the deal. I want you to also know this. This is something that's very, very common for 100% of businesses. I was going to say 90%, but it's 100% of businesses. Okay. You know what I mean? Like like it's, it's you know, uh, one of the things that you, you also, in your content, is think about this too, uh, Kevin, is, Knowing your why, knowing your intention is really important. People don't buy what you do. They buy why you do it, right? right. They want to believe in you. That comes from one of the great uh, leadership uh, consultants, Simon Sinek. You know, he said that people don't buy what you do. They buy why you do it. So in your content, share your story, share your background, share your intention. Your why needs to be very powerful as well. Okay. Like for me, let me take an example. I really built my business, my online academy and my consulting business because I was heartbroken when my students would come to me. You know, I was a business communications professor for a long time. I still teach very part time now, but I was heartbroken when I'd have my students come up to me, Kevin, and say, hey, Nez, I just paid $100,000 for a piece of paper and nobody will hire me. It broke my heart, Kevin. And... To this day, I'm fighting education. To this day, I'm trying to bring my knowledge of how I've been able to build successful businesses, how I've been able to take my wife on vacations and my kids on vacation if I want to and not worry about breaking the bank. All my expertise in leadership, management, communication, branding, messaging, right? Online business um, and helping my students and helping my students, right? And so, and helping everybody, I'm helping everybody I can who's who wants to do that, you know. And so, um, impact always before income. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. <clears throat> Excuse me. In income is important. Money is important. I'm not one of these guys who says, "Ah, eh, money's not important." No, money is very important. But impact first. Does that make sense, Kevin? Absolutely. Yeah. You're a smart young guy. And here's another thing. Here's the last thing I want to say to you before we get out of here, Kev. I want to say this, and, and, and really this is the, the, the sort of, um, this is really the gist and the crux of, of it all, is don't be afraid to uh, learn as you go along. Yeah. Don't be afraid to, uh, you know, just execute, but also understand that you're, you're going to be changing and evolving as it goes on. Business equals adaptation times infinity. 
You're always changing. You're always adapting because the marketplace is adapting. Nothing is stagnant. Okay. So a lot of the times people who quit on business or who stop, they overthink and think, well, I got to get all these things in order before I even start. No, you can learn. You learn best by experience. You learn best by doing. Does that make sense? Yes, absolutely. Don't overthink. I mean, even to this day, I've been in business forever, Kevin. Even to this day, I still change my website. I still tinker with this. I still, even just two nights ago, I was working on my LinkedIn profile and I'm a LinkedIn expert. I'm a LinkedIn influencer gotcha. and I, I, I was tinkering with my LinkedIn profile. You're always tinkering. Don't ever forget that. Okay. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to change. Don't be afraid to jump in head first when maybe you don't know every single thing, every single component. That's okay. The best experience, the best learning comes from doing. Does that make sense? Gotcha. Absolutely. All right. Hey, man, it's been a real pleasure uh, talking with you today. Thank you so much for watching this entire coaching call. Um, I really, really appreciate it. It means a lot to me, and uh, I hope you got a ton of value. If you did, make sure that you hit that thumbs up, that big giant thumb down below, and make sure that you click subscribe because we're bringing all sorts of videos and content your way, helping you both professionally and personally, helping you to build a standout brand so you can earn more, grow faster, and stress less. And I produce inspirational videos every single week for you guys. So make sure that you click subscribe. Make sure you go check out my other videos. I've got a ton of you know, branding videos. I've got a ton of personal branding coaching calls. I'll leave a link in the description down below. You definitely want to make sure you go to my YouTube channel and check that out. An entire playlist. I mean, these are unbelievable, jam-packed with value coaching calls with people who are trying to advance their career, people who are trying to start and grow their online business just like you. So you can get all your questions answered completely for free. And so I hope that you get a lot out of that. I know you will. And I hope to see you in the next video. Make sure you go check out those videos right now and I'll see you there.